you're wasting your time if you're studying computer science, web development, cybersecurity. There's no jobs in the computer market anymore. It's 2025. Or at least that's what they say. 2025 is the best time for you to break into the tech space. Whether you're in college or you're thinking about switching careers or you're just trying to get into the tech space. In this video, I'm going to discuss what roles you should aim for and how you can do this. What are the skills you need and what are the certifications you need? And I'm also going to share a secret tip that a lot of people tend to overlook in the tech space. If you enjoy this video and if you want to know more about tech and tech careers in general, like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out. Now let's get to it. Did you know that roles such as cloud engineering, cybersecurity and software development are projected to increase by 20%? And how can you be part of that 20%? Well, you need to know where you're going, first of all. What is your path? A pro tip I would recommend is going on LinkedIn and Indeed, looking at jobs, looking at roles, and figuring out which ones align with you. For example, if you're interested in protecting network systems, such as routers and switches and their connection with computers in, the, in an organization, then network security might be your space. If you're interested in building applications and coding, then software development is definitely for you. And if you're interested in infrastructure as a service, software as a service, or platform as a service, then cloud computing is definitely down your alley. And let's not forget access management. That involves little to no coding, and it's also a key part in every organization you go to. Now that you know where you're heading, you need to know how to get there. What skills and certifications do you need to achieve these roles? Well, the great news is you don't have to break the bank to get skills and certifications. For example, if you're trying to get into cloud, you can do the Azure Fundamentals or the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner on the base level. And these are not so expensive. And the course material is available on Udemy, Coursera. There's a lot of free material on YouTube and there's also free code camps as well that you can try out. And Udemy and Coursera are paid for, but there are personal plans ranging between 8 to 12 euros per month. And so if you dedicate three to six months for two certifications, you get the best value for your money. If you're interested in cybersecurity, security certifications such as the CompTIA Network Plus or the Security Plus are great starter entry certifications and if you're interested in software development then you can definitely use free code camps or camps like code academy to learn how to use python java and javascript but then what if you have all these certifications and skills but you still can't find a job well the truth is certifications and skills are important but they aren't enough if you miss that one critical step which i will get to in a second First of all, let's discuss how you show the employers that, okay, this piece of paper says I have this certification, but how do you know I actually understand what's going on here? This is where GitHub repos and project portfolios come into play. So you need to show the interviewer that, hey, I don't just have this piece of paper that says I know what AWS is. I actually have done something with AWS. For example, if you're a software developer, your portfolio can range from building a website to building an application. So you can show the interviewer how you did your API integrations and back end front end development. Basically, you need to be detailed. You need to show the interviewer what problem you solved, how you solved it, why it needed to be solved, and what the end result is. Now, this might seem complicated, but like I mentioned before, there's a lot of free resources on YouTube and there are resources on YouTube that you can use to show you easy projects to get you started as a software developer or as a cloud engineer. And they actually take you through step by step processes. Don't just list what you've done. Show your process. How did you get to that result? Now, let's get to the secret sauce. A lot of beginners tend to overlook this. You need networking and soft skills. We already spoke about skills though. So what are soft skills? Well, tech roles are about people 
as much as they are about computers. So you need to join tech communities, attend meetups, and link with professionals on LinkedIn. Link with recruiters on LinkedIn. Find people who work at the place you want to work at and ask them questions. The distance between you and your first job is as short as a single conversation. Put software engineer in your Insta bio. Even if you're introverted, in another video, I will go into detail about how to network with other tech professionals in the space. Starting a tech career in 2025 does not have to be scary. You need the right skills, the right mindset, and the right network. And if you want to know how to achieve this in 2025, stay tuned to this page. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. I will be coming back with more tech experience as a cybersecurity analyst. And I'll also have more people come on here as software developers and cloud engineers so that you can see the broad range of the tech space and how people in their own personal experiences have gotten to where they are and how you can also do it in 2025.